Hey everyone, let's look at our next multiple choice question. So we have the following uniform distribution describes the wait time in minutes for passengers of the cat bus at the stop in front of Sykes Hall. Okay, lots of fun information in there, but buzzwords I'm seeing are uniform distribution. All right, and then I can see my variable, right? Wait time, and there it is in minutes. So I'm gonna just take notes here. This is a uniform distribution question. And this is from chapter five. And my variable in this problem is wait times. Again, continuous numerical variable, and the units are minutes. That's probably good. You don't want them to be hours. Nobody wants to wait hours for a bus. What is the probability that a randomly selected passenger will wait between five and 10 minutes? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now I see, again, buzzword of probability. So I'm gonna have capital P with some stuff in parentheses. But before I get to that, let's go take a look at the distribution that's given to us. So if I look, it looks like my wait time, it spreads from uh, one to 10 minutes. So my base in this problem is from one to 10. And if I wanna actually find the distance there, I'm gonna subtract those two numbers. So my base is nine minutes long, which is fine. That's literally this distance from here to here, nine minutes. That means my height is gonna be one ninth. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do, once I've just figured out my, my height for my distribution, the next thing is to go into that actual probability question. And it says, hey, I want to go between 5 and 10 minutes. So in here, I'm going to say 5 to 10. And then once I have my probability statement, I always like to start with, inside the parentheses, I want to figure out where am I on the x-axis. So they're saying go x between 5 and 10. So I would think that 5 was maybe somewhere around here, and then I, I know 10, it's right there. So let me go ahead and shade that area. I'm going to shade it yellow. All right. And then I want to calculate that area. And looking at it, it looks to be about half of the graph, right? If I had to eyeball it, it looks to be about 50%. Uh, and that means just based on the answers here, I can't rule any out. I, I would have, I, I think it's probably not D, 40% is maybe a little bit too low, but these three values are so close together that I'm not, I'm not sure which one I could rule out. And that's fine. Let's go ahead and figure this out. So I want base times height, but now I want it for my yellow rectangle. So the base of that yellow rectangle, and let me change my pen color here. My base here is between five and 10. So the base of my yellow rectangle, I'm gonna go 10 minus five, that's gonna be five. Let me switch back to purple. So this is gonna be five. My uniform height is one ninth. So this is five ninths, which as a decimal is about 56%. So let me see, ah, B, there is my answer. All right.